Hi, how are you? Uh, this is Fahad and I'm going to give you a tutorial about WordPress header images. Okay, to understand this uh, plugin, uh, you have to see a couple of screenshots. It will explain and the things really well I mean uh, you have to simply create a few menus first maybe you are having already there if you are not having you can create uh, menus like you have to go appearance and then menus uh, I have taken uh, a website of my friend as, a, as an example let me show you appearance menus this is your first step really first step then you need to create menus like this you can create multiple menus and uh, this doesn't mean that your theme is having menus or not that that that's not uh, an issue I mean you can create more like this okay so once you will create menus here and uh, so in settings you will see WP header images my plugin and select your uh, required menu like this my friend is using this menu for his pages uh, first one is home home item then this page I mean these are the many menu, menu names and uh, on click you can change or add image for that page okay and uh, once this this uh, is implemented it should work like this I mean every page will have a unique image and how it works you simply click here how it works and you will see there are two steps only click here to open theme header PHP I mean some uh, of them uh, like uh, the users who are uh, posting me on support there they're asking me that we don't know about code how can we do that simply click here header PHP open a file header PHP here and insert any of these code snippets inside body tag you will find this body tag L look here control F body and inside this you can insert either this line or this line I'm using this line for now look here do action apply her images that's it and update file so this was an example a working example of normal headers now I will give you another tutorial about WooCommerce categories Hi. Uh, so for WooCommerce categories, I'm going to check that uh, how many WooCommerce categories I'm having at the moment. Product for WooCommerce categories, you have to check products and categories. I'm having apples, bananas, pineapples, strawberries. Four categories are there. Now I have to check that how many of them are in menus here is a little trick I'm, I'm going to show you uh, okay look here for example uh, you don't wanna create a separate I mean a every tab as a separate simply do okay a few a few of uh, uh, users are asking that uh, we are not having product categories here for those I, I want to show you screen options from here and you, you see this checkbox like this you can have product categories check it okay now I'm going to create a custom link 
like categories or maybe shop like this removing this and apple banana then pineapple strawberries strawberry pineapple like this save menu it should appear in my menu as shop banana pi apple banana pineapple strawberries okay uh, what is expected exactly when I click here on strawberries so whatever image I will uh, choose to appear on uh, in this header area uh, so that should come here but for that uh, you have to check the option in settings header images WP header images do you see this menu home sample page shop then apples apple is ha already having an image uh, banana click here upload select banana open insert like this same like this a uh, pineapple and strawberries save changes right okay now I'm going to banana like this uh, how it should be according to your requirement like it should have uh, width 100 percent and height 100 percent like this so th these are your CSS skills uh, ev every person can have a different requirement <laughs> it's better that you create an image according to your page instead of like I'm, I'm using any random image downloaded from Google images just to show just to j just to demonstrate this as for learning purpose I'm not going to use any others image I created myself for my website so uh, it's better that you capture an image or you are going to buy an image so create them according to the width and height exactly what you require because my plugin is going to display the images with exact dimensions instead of cropping them or having them any strict width and height so uh, I would suggest you to play with CSS or maybe you can create some exact width and height for an image okay uh, what trick I was going to show you that a few people uh, asked me that they don't wanna show something here but still they wanna uh, they want to appear like like f for example if someone uh, don't wanna uh, uh, show pineapples here but still he he want that, uh, that some unique image should come here so what he can do is pineapples for example I download an image for pineapple I will upload this image right save changes okay pineapple image is appearing but your requirement is this that you don't wanna add any this in fact maybe you you wanna remove this whole menu maybe you want to remove these items from here that's that's fine simply what you need to do is appearance menus and if you want to remove this whole item you don't want to display this I mean this you think that it's an extra thing you, you don't want to uh, show this item as a menu item there simple apply CSS classes and make it hide right save menu go to your editor appearance editor 
and here in your style CSS create a style hide display none that's it refresh CSS okay, CSS class not implemented here. Okay, let's try here. Hide save. This one is height, but maybe it's requiring important. Yeah, it's requiring important. Okay, you will see now that shop, the complete shop. Uh, custom menu is just disappeared S and still categories are having unique images now so by this you can have uh, unique images for each WooCommerce category page and you you are not required to display them as a menu items here uh, hopefully uh, you uh, you will easily try it on your website and uh, I'm going to show you how it works again look here you, ha you need to click on here uh, header PHP and then paste this line or this line just after body tag anywhere inside body tag right thank you uh, for more questions you can keep posting me on my support page here and yes make sure that you're asking about the support sometimes people are asking for new features maybe some sometime people are asking about some other uh, plugin compatibility so uh, please uh, try to focus on mm, the bugs or errors or maybe new features but relevant to this plugin because it takes my time and i i i, I i'm I'm willing to improve this plugin and obviously uh, at this point this this plugin has been improved so much because of uh, those people who are uh, in reporting me the issues and I c I always love to acknowledge the people like uh, I, I always mention the names ac against the version number I release after fixing some issue reported by anyone thank you so much take care